I'm Dr. Ron Adler. I'm the author of Cancer Screening Decisions, a patient-centered approach. Our conventional way of doing cancer screening is generally to order it without having a conversation about the pros and cons. And yet this runs counter to other interventions that we recommend uh, with patients. How are you today? Good, thanks. We're very careful to explain to patients all the potential harms that may come from the procedure as well as the benefits. Uh, we call this informed consent. We get their permission to do that. And yet that's a standard that has not typically been applied to cancer screening. However, as the landscape of cancer screening has changed and we've learned that the benefits of it are not as robust as we once thought and the harms may be greater as we've developed more intensive screenings, there, there really is a conversation that should happen there. A lot of people think of cancer as one disease, but in fact, every type of cancer can be different. The book offers a number of advantages for doctors and the clinical team in the office, and ultimately for their patients. It brings together all the information that you need to make some of these challenging decisions about cancer screening. It presents it in a way that it's easily understood by patients. The format of the book is such that it's two-sided, where the patient-facing side is heavy on graphics and illustrates the concepts, and the clinician-facing side has talking points to help guide uh, the clinician in the conversation with the patient. Our expectation here is that though sometimes these conversations, when they're done right, can take a while, with the aid of the book, there are members of the care team besides the physician who can guide patients through this decision making. Even among published guidelines about cancer screening, the experts recommend that we have conversations like this. Rather than just order the test, uh, we are encouraged to engage with patients, inform them fully about the advantages and disadvantages of screening, and help them explore their own preferences so they can reach a decision that's most concordant with their own feelings and what works best for them. That sounds like um, a good option for me because I'm not comfortable having no mammogram. That just doesn't feel right and yet maybe I don't need to be going every year. That if I could do every other year that would be a good option for me. We want patients to engage with this and really rather than simply saying, oh, I'm a certain age, I should have that cancer screening, really consider the pros and cons and make decisions that fit best with their personal values and preferences.